As you may know or have heard of, the AMD Ryzen CPUs do not exactly make one's memory choice easy, since even to this date many RAM compatibility and stability issues still persist on this new platform, even with so-called compatible Ryzen RAM kits. However, I recently discovered a fix for those memory issues. It has worked with several RAM kits for me, however, this method may not work with every kit out there. And it's also depending on your motherboard as well as the board's BIOS version. But at least you can give it a shot if you have difficulties getting your Ryzen system to boot at higher RAM frequencies. Usually when the system fails to boot at higher RAM speeds, it will most likely reset the RAM to something like 2133 or 2400 MHz, depending on the kit. So let's try to go all the way. I'm going to load the XMP profile, which is 2666 MHz here in this case. The memory voltage automatically is set to 1.2 volts. Next up we need to find DRAM boot voltage or something along those lines. Not every board or bias may come with this feature, if it does, Great. With this ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero, I found the DRAM boot voltage under the DigiPlus power control settings. This feature basically will make your RAM operate at a specific voltage while booting to ensure stability. If your memory kit doesn't boot at the rated speeds for a 1.2 volt kit, try going with 1.3 volts first and if it still doesn't boot, try increasing this voltage in small increments like 1.31, then 1.32, 1.35 and so on until you reach like 1.4 volts. For a 1.35 volt kit, you may go straight for 1.4 volts and see if it's stable. I wouldn't advise you to go higher than 1.4 volts though, otherwise you may risk damaging your RAM, even though some say 1.5 volts is the absolute maximum. I wouldn't do it though. Then save and exit the settings. Should you still run into problems, another way to help your RAM gain stability is to generally increase the DRAM voltage. For a 1.2 volt kit try something like 1.25 or 1.3 volts, maybe even 1.35. If you're unlucky and have got RAM your Ryzen platform seems to hate, there's always the option to lower the RAM frequency a bit. Instead of the rated 2666 MHz like in my case, try going for 2400. And if all else fails, one more thing you could try is to loosen the timings a little bit, but that hardly ever worked for me. So as you can see, before applying my fix, if you want to call it like that, I could only run this APSR Panther kit at 2133 MHz. Now I can run it at both 2400 as well as the rated 2666 MHz, however it will not boot successfully every time, so I wouldn't really call it stable. Next up G-Skill has their Flare X Ryzen compatible memory out, 3200 MHz. However this kit does not boot with 3200 MHz on all systems. Once again load the XMP Pro file, with my kit the frequency will be set to 3200 MHz at 1.35 volts. For the DRAM boot voltage I'm going for 1.4 volts. And my Flare X kit now finally runs 100% stable at the rated speed of 3200 MHz. Now some of you might be luckier and some well, will remain unlucky with their memory configuration. At least it's worth a try. Let me know at what settings you got your RAM to boot and what kit you are using. I hope this video could help some of you guys out. And as always, thanks for watching.